Um, so for the month of January, of January, <laughs> for the month of January. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the channel. It is, uh, it's early Saturday morning. I'm at my last stop. I just have to get some things from Sam's. Um, it is right before New Year. And if you saw the previous video, you'll know that we are doing a little bit of Veganuary. Um, so for the month of Vanu of January, <laughs> for the month of January, um, we're just gonna be fully plant-based. Um, so I needed to stock up on a few things. So most of this haul will be plant-based, probably except for a few things, um, for just some random reasons like dog food, uh, stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, so just needed, I didn't need a whole lot of stuff, just, um, enough to kind of get by. I feel like we still had a lot of things in the house just because Dave's been off this past week. Um, you know, it's kind of been a short week for work, uh, for me. So I think just, you know, those last two weeks of the year, it just throws your schedule off. Like everything is weird, you know, with like, parties or eating out or shopping and being out and about um so i think we're in the home stretch of all of these events we've got like a neighbor brunch tomorrow i've got a movie date uh late this or early this afternoon with some girlfriends we're gonna go see boys in the boat um so my book club read the book uh the book was really good so i can't wait to see the movie um and on Christmas Day, we went to see Ferrari, which uh, that was a really well done movie. It's probably not like the feel good movie of the century, but I thought it was interesting and I just thought it was really well done. Like the acting was good. Um, so I liked it a lot. Um, and then I got spoiled for Christmas. David got me this beautiful new handbag. He always does such a nice job. He goes overboard and I just get him stupid stuff. So I think we were joking. I got him books and beans this year. So poor David. Um, Anyway, hopefully you guys had a good Christmas season and we're you know, getting ready to kind of get back into the groove. I am ready to be back on a schedule. I am ready to kind of be back into <laughs> normal life. So I feel like I've kind of been in a daze, but, um, but yep, I do have my coffee with me. So doing a little bit of an old Weight Watchers hack. Um, I feel like a lot of influencers that did Weight Watchers used to do this with a little bit of cold brew coffee and then add a protein shake to it. So we had some plant-based protein shakes, so I did half of that and then um, half of cold brew coffee. So I'm at the tail end of that. I need to go inside and pick up the rest of my stuff and then I will meet you back at the house and I'll show you what I got. See you in a few. All right, I am back from all of the stores and uh, I know I'm in the car, I mentioned I wasn't getting very much, but. Turns out I think I got more than I thought I was going to. But anyway, uh, this is everything and let's get into it. Okay, starting with King Supers, we got a giant five pound bag of Gala apples. So we go through these. Dave, me, the dogs, we all eat these. We've got a small container of blackberries. Um, a bunch of kale, so I'm going to cut this up, massage it with a little bit of lemon juice and olive oil, and we'll have that just to throw into various dishes throughout the week. Also got a bell pepper. I'm just going to slice this up. I've got like a bunch of hummus in the fridge, so I think I'm going to use that to dip that in. Lemons were on clearance, so I got this whole bag for 99 cents. Also got a head of cabbage. This was in the circular this week, I think 49 cents a pound, so we'll be Throwing that in some dishes as well, maybe cooking it up. As usual, we got Dave's Kool-Aid and his pomegranate blueberry acai tea. And then also on clearance, I found this legendary strawberry protein pastry. This is not actually vegan, so I may have this tomorrow morning or just keep it on hand until um, after Veganuary is over, but it was $1.48. I've seen these kind of like all over social, so I was curious, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, silken tofu, I'm probably going to be making a pasta sauce with this, uh, so I bought that. I haven't used silken tofu before. So, uh, tofurkey plant-based deli slices, the peppered variety, I haven't tried this, but I think this will be good for kind of a grab-and-go snack or even a sandwich to take to work. Um, these two giant things of palm pomegranate arils were half price, so I figure I'm going to put those in the freezer 
and uh, probably put those in smoothies. So I thought that was a good deal. Also got just a blown bag of tiny, a little bag of uh, potato chips. Those were 58 cents. So can throw those in a lunch bag or something. I have absolutely zero all-purpose flour and I don't use it that much. So I just bought a small bag of it. Also on clearance was the chip, the chick, <laughs> the thick and chunky mild salsa. These were $1.26 per jar. So I just got three of those. I think salsa is just a really easy condiment to do a bunch of things with. Also on sale in the circular, these were $1.49 a can if you bought five qualifying items. So we got three cans of this, two things of the cold brew but we got lentil, tomato, basil, and a spicy tomato. Again, these will be just good to kind of keep on hand um, if I find myself um, without a meal plan or just for lunches. Cold brew, we all know that I drink that in the morning, so I have two of those. I decided to splurge and buy the plant-based dark chocolate morsels, just kind of as a little incentive on the whole Veganuary start. So I got those uh, for clearance, of uh, holiday clearance. I bought this Duke Cannon Rudolph's Much Deserved Nightcap. It's a bar of soap. Um, I have somebody in mind to give this to, so we'll keep that a secret. And then also this Harry's Shaving Kit. Um, this was half off. I want to say it was like eight bucks. I have wanted to try the Harry's razors. So get two blades and some shave gel for $8. I think that's a pretty good deal. And I think that does it for King Supers. Okay, now we're at Walmart. I got my trusty avocado. I will, you know, I always do half of an avocado for my avocado toast. I'll probably be doing that uh, twice this week when I'm at home. Also, over by the butcher section in Walmart, I have been absolutely obsessed with um, these little tiny hot sauce bottles. Um, so I think I mentioned this in my previous video that you don't need to refrigerate these as long as they're the vegan ones and that it doesn't say so on the package. But I think both of these can be unrefrigerated, which makes it really easy to keep those in my desk at work. They also have these like little Kinder's uh, seasoning packets. So there's the teriyaki sauce. These are vegan. The fire roasted jalapeno is vegan. However, this honey hot, it does have honey in it. Uh, so that is not a like true vegan friendly food, but I just am obsessed with these little things. They've got so many different varieties, so super fun. Um, probably bought them all out of that. Anyway, on to, I uh, got some crispy broccoli florets and crispy cauliflower florets. I absolutely love, love, love these things with a little bit of dipping sauce or even the hot sauce that I just showed. Um, just an easy meal. Once again, all about setting ourselves up for success with Veganuary. It may not be the healthiest thing, but it's a way to get some veggies in quickly on the run, you know, if you just need uh, to get a meal in quickly. Uh, of course, we've got the peas and carrots for the Pooh Bears, um, so that'll go in their food. Also bought the Tofurky plant-based uh, smoked ham style um, deli slices. So again, probably just maybe for some some little crackers, little charcuterie, vegan idea, whatever. Uh, got a couple of bananas. We don't need a ton of bananas, so I didn't get them from Sam's. Maybe just a few to get through the week. I bought some dry erase markers because my mama got me a little, uh, kind of like a cute little desk caddy with a dry erase board for my desk. So need some markers for that. We had some sliced white mushrooms on sale, so I bought two of these. I'm just gonna throw some, uh, do a little bit of light oil on them, some seasoning, throw them in the oven for like 400 for 15 minutes, flip them over. Um, and again, so then we have some roasted mushrooms um, for the dogs and for the humans all week long. We have another bag of the minties, the little toothbrushes for the little puppies. So stocked up on those. Also got the Planet Oat Oat Milk Creamer. This is the gingerbread flavor, so that will be going in my coffee. I'm doing the Silk Organic Soy Milk for my plant milk of choice at the moment. Also found this super cute little tin that I probably didn't need, but 50% uh, holiday clearance. We're all over that. Also have the Boil In Bag Brown Rice. I found some ground beef on clearance the other day, so I think I'm gonna try and make a bunch of meals for the puppies just to have in the freezer. So I just combined like a big thing of rice, I'll probably do this whole box, 
um, ground uh, or fry up, fry up, ugh. cook up the ground beef that I have, mix that all in, you know, find whatever vegetables we have on hand and throw those in. And so just have a bunch of frozen meals for the dogs. And then I've got the Glad Tall Kitchen Bags. These are the game scented ones. Uh, so I've got those. And that does it for the Walmart haul. All right, on to the club, the Sam's Club. So we've got our blueberries. We always get the big thing of blueberries at Sam's Club. So Dave and the dogs eat these. I might be throwing some in if I do some overnight oats that I'm gonna try to prep to take to work. Um, so we've got blueberries. We've got the giant bag of broccoli florets for the dogs and for Dave. Uh, got cage-free eggs, two dozen this time. Sam's did not have the pasture-raised eggs. They normally do, but every now and then I think there's like a little lull in them not having it. So I did get the cage-free. Um, got some Olay Ultimate Sensitive Skin. This was on sale and also my skin is just super angry with how dry it is here in Colorado. So I thought I would try this and hope that that gives it some much, much, much needed moisture. Uh, for Dave, he is on kind of a pasta kick and the Rayos is on sale at Sam's. I think it's a little over $7 for these two, which I think normally like one of these is $7. Um, I think Costco normally has a pretty good price on it too. It might even be Sam's, but I thought I'd get these just for Dave to have around for his dinners. And then Dave is also on a green chili kick. So we got this three jar pack, I think for like maybe nine something. So he's got that to have with, you know, make some Mexican dishes with potatoes or rice or whatever. Um, so got that. And then we have the orange juice. And of course the quicker picker upper, we've got the bounty. And then my favorite laundry detergent was $5 off. So I had to stock up on, that's the Tide um, Ultra Oxy. I love this, it smells amazing. And then I thought this would be fun for me and Dave to try the Good Pop mini cans. It's just juice and bubbly water. There is no added sugar. I think the fruit punch sounds really good to me. The orange might sound really good to David. So 30 and 35 calories per can. And there's tiny cans. I think they're like seven and a half ounces. So I think that's perfect for me and Dave who just need maybe like a little something and maybe get to throw in a lunch for either one of us. So I think that is it for the Sam's haul. All right, that does it for getting all of the things. I'm going to prep some of this, like I said, set myself up for success for starting the January. January 1, we have some lucky black eyed peas in the fridge. I think we'll eat that with some rice and maybe cut up a Beyond sausage. Um, but aside from that, we're just going to make do with all this stuff um, and see how that goes. But really quickly, I thought it might be fun to try one of these good pops. So we'll, looks like fruit punch is on the top. And we're going to have our cameraman try it too. It's good. It's like just light. It's very fizzy, but just lightly flavored. So what does the cameraman think of it? <laughs> I don't think he likes it that much. Tastes like salsa water. <laughs> well, that these might be mine. Flavored. Mm. These might be mine. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us on this haul. We hope you found it useful. Um, happy New Year to you all. We will see you in 2024. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Comment below what you're getting on your final haul of the year. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps us more than you know. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.